while we're still waiting for more news on Chief Daddy, we will be shining our spotlight on two individuals, Michael Obina, popularly known as the Wolfman, and Kende Oretimehi, whose work behind the scenes of the new musical, Flower, is getting a lot of accolades. Details in this next report. It's not uncommon for lead characters and cast to take all the shine from successful productions like this, especially if they are celebrities like Elvina Ibru and YJ. What many do not know, however, is that success of musicals like this is sometimes hinged on the creative works of some people behind the scenes. In this case, the choreographer Michael Obina, popularly known as Wolfman, and Kennedy Oretimein, the music director and the creator of all the original songs on the production. It's not about um, the accolades or the fame or who it's out there, it's about the process. Yeah, so you can be out there as the face, but what comes before it, what brought you there, what's keeping you there is the work actually. So I, I call ourselves the backbone and you are the skin. So we are the bone and you are the skin. So let them see the skin. Without the bone, the skin is useless. I can say um, more, more, more of theatre shows and productions like this should be done or let's say um, more for ju just dance so like we hardly have um, dance theater shows like you just come in and you watch strictly dance show like one hour so so if you can have that happen often so that, so, so that we can celebrate dancers more and we can show people that okay dance actually have something to give dancing is acting dancing is music dancing is life also so if we can have more of that, definitely we can have those people out there. So definitely if we can do more of production and stage shows like this that have just dance only, telling the story, telling the dance with the music, definitely more things can come up like that, yeah. Flaw, the musical highlights various gender-based issues in the society, and the seriousness of the theme is diluted for consumption on a stage with deft choreography and sonorous singing. You know, dealing with um, actors that are actually not professional dancers, so you have to teach them the basics, make them do the movements the way it should look like. So, but for the dancers, it has been pretty challenging because it's not just all about movements, it's also about feeling. So it's not just telling the story with movements, it's also telling the story with movements added with feelings into it. <laughs> I paid attention to the characters, uh, also the knowledge of the actors, I have to know them, know their voice range and their vocal range, so that made it easy for me. And then uh, it's easy because, uh, like I said, it's what I've been doing year in, year out. I do it like every time I write songs. So I've got my own rhythms, I've got my own chords, I've got my own progression. What I just introduced just to change the emotions and put some lyrics on it. And I'll teach people to sing.
Even though all the songs on the production are all original, the music director is not holding his breath for an independent release as an original soundtrack compilation, seeing how previous efforts in that direction had been futile. Nigeria is very fertile, you know, so everything is possible. You just have to keep trying. So, one of the things that the producer told me was that because they are original songs and they are very, very, you needed to hear them, very, very, very sweet and interesting. What do you hear? What do you see? What do they call? Flower the Musical is written and directed by Benga Yusuf.